welcome to, I, I've lost track of the day, what day we're on, um, but welcome back to Vlogtober. As I mentioned yesterday, we are on our way to the farm today to gather some things, get some books, whatever else I can find hanging around there, clear it out a little bit, bring it back so it can all be organised together at home when we do our big kind of organisation. <music> I don't know if, even know if I've shown this in the full, I've definitely shown it to patrons, um, but I got a rather large selection of Clothman classics for Christmas. For a bookish person, the decoration element, gorgeous. I will read some as well, and I have obviously got copies of others. Do you remember his name? The black one is Jake. Here we come. And this one is Sydney. Hello, Sid. They're having apples. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, we got back from the farm. I did a little bit more editing. And now, Zach and I are going to go and see Blink 182 tonight, which is going to be fun. Uh, we'll get a little bit of dinner before, but yeah, we've been invited by the Klarna Affiliates program. And I'm looking forward to it. I think Zach might be looking forward to it a touch more than me. Not to say that I'm not. I think it's going to be fun. More nights out for me and Zach. We've just been hitting the town so much. I think this will be our last sort of major outing this month. Evening, at least. Concert last night was so much fun. I am becoming just so old and I often feel like a alien that's been beamed down to earth because I just enjoy the spectacle of the concert. I mean, I just can't stop thinking about how cool the lighting design is. I mean, I'm just such a nerd these days and like how impressive they are playing the instruments. Like if I would have gone to a concert like 10 years ago, I would have just taken it in for what it was. But now I'm just so impressed by the amount of work that goes into these things. And yeah, we had a lot of fun. Just something a bit different to what we usually do these days. But you all know why I'm standing in front of this bookshelf. It's time to tackle the books. So all of these are coming off, heading over to my mum's. And then if we have time today, I'll start putting some of mine on. I suspect we might run out of time, but we'll see how we go. Zach's going to get a ladder at some point so we can reach the very top. I did have a little bit of a panic like a couple days ago thinking like it's the end of my bookshelves upstairs. It's the end of an era. 
I'm going to be dismantling, you know, 10 years, 10 plus years of, of organisation up there and it will be different. So, and I won't be able to go up there and sort of be in a little bookish paradise. I mean, I, I will have a bookish paradise down here, but it's, it's just different. It's going to be different. And um, I suddenly felt strangely emotional about it. I'm not even moving into my own house. I'm just moving them downstairs, but still... Um, I, I got a little bit stressed, so there may be a little bit more stress coming my way today. So, let's get started, shall we? So, starting with the big ones on the bottom here. So I think what I might do today is just do the cloth bounds um, and decide which shelf they're going to go on. I would quite like whichever shelf they go on for them to fill completely because I think that will look cool. But I have just no concept of what they're, how long they are all lined up. Obviously these shelves need a little dusting as they go as well. So the first dilemma is whether to keep the boxed sets that I have, whether to keep the boxes on the shelves. Now the boxes themselves are pretty, so I'm sort of reluctant not to use them, but um, equally I think a full length of them, no boxes, will look nice. Um, this is not a great example because these are all actually shades of blue and green, but the boxed sets also have mixed colours in them like and I want to keep authors together so I am going to do mixed colours I'm not going to try and do any kind of colour gradient with them um, this is obviously the Bronte collection and we are going to be reading The Tenant of Wildfell, Wildfell Hall for book club in November which I'm looking forward to this shelf up here is one of the shortest shelves so I think it will work nicely um, for like a long row of books, like no stacking, no difference, like just one long row. And the cloth bands fit, even though they're hard bags. However, it is one of the longer shelves. It goes all the way to the end of the steps. So I am a bit like, will I have enough books to go all the way along the shelves? Again, I've not got that sort of brain, so I've just got no concept of how, how long it will be. Um, when you lay them all out. It is a tricky one, people, but I think we're going to try this shelf first, see if it works. In general, I think taking all the books off was probably the easy bit. Maybe not for Zach, who is transporting them to my mum's house and then emptying the boxes there. But for B, this is where the hard bit starts because now it's a lot of organisation. I'm going to have to go upstairs and get books. Um, I think this will be a multi-day project.
Okay, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. So the what I was trying to do was get the like background of one book and then the following book on the shelf would have like the foil in the background color of the previous book. But I don't think it looks good. <laughs> So I am thinking this shelf is the best. I don't think I am going to fill it, fill it with cloth bounds, but I think it's going to be okay. I just want it in a spot where you'll really see it. I don't want to put it on this absolutely massive shelf, obviously. And then the ones below it are a little like low in the eye line. So I think I want to keep them on the shelf. I think it just needs a big rearrange. What I might do is like put types of colors together. So like the dark-ish colors and the done colors together, and then the like pastel -y colors together, and then the bright colors together. Again, though, I'm definitely gonna be thwarted by my sets, especially like the Hardy set is all over the place. Where is it? There. That is all over the place. Um, the Dickens set has a feel to it, but I don't know. It needs work, friends. I feel like this is a nice practice run for my future bookshelves. Okay, ignore the Dyson. What do we think? I think this looks pretty good. Um, I have kept the authors together that need to be together. Um, so I shoved <laughs> Hardy down at the end there and you could just about to see there's like a brightly coloured book right at the end. Um, just sort of hiding it a little bit. And then Dickens is a little bit challenging as well. I wonder if I should hide Dickens deeper in the shelf, but equally that would also mess it up. I think the middle looks really nice. Um, I like the way it moves from the pastels to the kind of brights, to the yellows and the blues and the greys. I think that all works. I try to mix them up and not put like really matchy matchy ones right next to each other because it's all a bit uneven the way they've published them. I will say though, there is no denying that these are delicate books. Let me find a good example. Well, first of all, let's look at this. This is not how you spell friendship. Same on the spine, same problem. So someone just really typed it in wrong. Um, so we don't love that. Also, you can see actually a little bit on this one. This is a good example that the foiling or whatever it is, it's not really foiling, it's something, does come off. Like you can see that it is not part of the design. It does come off with a bit of rough handling. Obviously, always with books like this, the corners are gonna get bumped. I wouldn't say they're the most carefully made books in the world. They're obviously beautiful and they're beautifully designed but they do have a few issues. This one, for instance, is a little bit funny. It just looks, it's got a kind of doubling. It's not quite, it's not very crisp. Sort of true of the front as well. I think Dickens might be okay once he's like sort of, once I put other books on the end of this. I don't know, maybe I'll try and find like another set or some more hardbacks or something. so tired it's very late um i feel like we didn't get much sleep last night because obviously we were out late and then Inez had an extremely late nap on the way back from my mom's house um zach obviously took the books over and then brought her back the second round of books and so she obviously had to go to bed late so now zach and i are absolutely right <laughs> But I did put on, a I went upstairs and got one box of books. That was as much as I managed. But I put on basically everything I've read this year. There are a few exceptions in here. Um, and it's not absolutely everything, obviously. How I'm kind of like tempted to organize it. Because as I've said before, I do quite like to keep books I read at a similar time together. So I can imagine like having my yearly reading in a similar 
spot each year, with some exceptions being, you know, authors that I read a lot. Obviously, I read them year to year. Um, so I'm obviously going to keep authors together. That's a major one. Um, but I'm kind of like, as you can see, sort of tempted to organise ish by colour when I do that. So like, they're in their yearly set, but then I sort of organise them so that they sit nicely together. Um, I know you can't see very well because it's backlit, which is not ideal. Yeah, so you can see I've kind of organised by colour, kind of goes light and then dark and then red into reds and blues. And then I've got my Toni Morrison's there and into kind of the lighter colours. And then I've got, at the end, I've got some, some books by authors that I know I'm gonna, you know, be stacking multiple books. So I've got my few Le Guin's at the end here and a smiley at the end here, because I'm obviously gonna put it with my other smileys. But yeah, I'm kind of tempted to organise my genre. I guess this, like I said, this is a nice little practice run for when I come to properly organise. I tend to put them very neatly on, like, as I say, like, maybe by colour a little bit or this or that and they look very organised but I actually like it as the shelves sort of um, settle and begin to gather books that like weren't part of the original organisation and then it begins to um, get more a little bit more messy but kind of more organic looking I suppose so I'm sure they'll look very nice when I finish them now um, although I won't be like fully happy. I feel like they also sometimes they like settle together and they, it feels right. And then you feel like you know where the books are and they are sat in the right place. <laughs> but um, sometimes you sort of tweak as you go along a little bit. So I'm sure I'll be doing a little bit of that as well. Lots and lots of books still to come down. That was literally just one box. And now I'm thinking I could easily fill this and do I need more, even more bookshelves in, in my new house? Let's fill this first. I'm really looking forward to seeing it filled with like no ornaments on it. I do love the look of like ornaments mixed in with books and it's probably a look I will do in our future home in some rooms if we have the space. But I'm really looking forward to just seeing what it looks like, just like books, books on books on books. Anyway, my loves, with that being said, I'm going to clear up downstairs and I'm gonna head to bed. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. I don't know where the hell this week has gone. I feel like I've done absolutely nothing. It's just been a bit of, a bit all over the place, to be honest. Um, and tomorrow it's mommy day again. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> um, but thank you so much for watching today, my loves. Bye.